Welcome to Gimmick Cast. When the gimmick is, it's not what you think. It's absolutely worse. <laughs> that that actually would describe Time Thief. Wait, not Time Thief. Plunder Thief. No shit. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. No. Ah. Ah. If you're wondering, if you're wondering where I got that line from, it's a line from uh, Nothing But Thieves on Person. Oh. So I just thought it was a really cool line. Oh well, <laughs> well one minute and we mentioned thieves three times. This is this is interesting. Yeah. Oh. It's like, it's like a curse. Yes, it is a curse. Anyway, I th- I think I w- we we should just get straight into the EU news because we only got two things to talk about, and Evie's going to bring up the first topic. Yeah, the first topic is the um creator card project. Yay. We're back to talking about the clusterfuck. But this time, it's actually functioning properly. So. Yay. <sighs> I mean... Anyway, I'm just going to briefly touch on it, because there's not really much to say. The This last last week's, I want to say, because I think they're doing it weekly. Mm-hmm. Is it weekly or bi-weekly? I think it's weekly. Anyway, last week's was Photons versus um, Mermail. And, and Photons won, by a landslide. Because Zexel so, is better. I don't know. If they were going to give Photon a card, I would. it would be basically just a retrain of Galaxy Eyes, honestly. Mm. Like, that would have to be the best thing they could do with Photons. Because mm. there's really not much you can do with it. Anyway, I think the newest one is out. We're up to... Uh, it's Fogs versus TGs. I think Fogs are going to win. Oh, yeah. Fogs is that, like... It's that underground legendary deck where it's, like... It's got no, like, anime representation, but... Well, you mean it has it. Toads? Toads doesn't fucking count. What? For the uh, Vada included, then? Okay, fine. That's Vada. Anyway, I guess we can just move into the main part of the Yu Gi thing, which isn't going to last yeah. very long. We're getting Dragons of Legends, the complete series, which at first looks like it looks like an excuse to reprint a bunch of collector cards, but there's some actually interesting reprints in here. So I'm just going to go through each like interesting reprint in here. First things first, Soul Charge. Yeah, that is a very interesting one. I'm not going to lie. Are they bringing it back? They could. I, I, they absolutely could. I mean, I, I wouldn't blame them if they want to. But yeah, they're no, doing that. Um, the next one is they're being in three different fusion cards. We've got Flash Fusion, Battle Fusion, and Final Fusion. Final Fusion isn't even a fusion card, though. Isn't that like a trap focused on fusions? I can't remember. Yeah. I haven't played Yu Gi Oh. It's lit. And it look, no, there, not only is it a trap around fu- fusions, it's a trap around fusions that requires your opponent to be playing fusions. Ah, so it's full of those fluffle mirrors. Yes. Nice. <laughs> An actually relevant fucking mirror match. Hmm. I, I don't. How did. Okay. Can I just. Briefly on a tangent. How did fluffle become so fucking popular? Uh, because it had cute work, and girls like it, and it's a stupid OTK deck that's consistent. Okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> oh, wow, Battle Fusion is going to be kind of... I can see it being used in Fluffles. Um, when an attack is declared evolving a fusion monster you control and an opponent sponsor, that monster you control gains attack equal to the attack of the opponent sponsor until the end of the damage step. Yeah. Quick play as well. It's an interesting thing. It, I don't know whether I agree that it would be played, but... Yeah, and then Flash Fusion is Fusion Summon 1 Fusion Monster from the extra deck. Using monsters you control as fusion material, destroy it during that end phase. Literally, if you play a burn a thing like Red Eyes Burn, it's a decent alternative to Red Eyes Fusion. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we got a bunch of like train reprints as well, like old school trained reprints, like Lionheart locomotive and all that. Yeah. Um, the got... only, the I think the only things that they 
don't haven't reprinted are like the good ones like um what's its back face Derekran. Mm. Yeah. Uh, the other ones they have reprinted. Um, they're reprinting a bunch of the number cards. We got number seventy three. It's chaos version. We got number. Yeah, no, because all these, all these number cards were in the original lead light uh lead legends. Okay then. Sets. I mean, so, like they're reprinting them. His thing. Is... Vank out quick chaos is here. Yes, that was also printed in the set. Uh, in the legend set. I don't know why, but they did. Isn't that the one that's currently banned? No. Uh, which one? Let's skip force. No, it's Arjun that's banned. Okay, then, never mind. Yeah, no, it's... This one is the one where it's the quick play that's meant to be used during the battle phase. No one really does. Oof, okay, then. Uh, moving on. Uh, Toon Reprints, because we didn't get them in the last set. Prediction Princess Reprints. Aqua Etress reprints, some Odd Eyes and Performing Power reprints, which is Mirage, uh, Dragon, Uni, and Corn. Which <laughs> came in this set because they were manga cards. Yes. Oh, nice. They're, repl- they're reprinting five of the planet cards. So we're getting Blazing Mars, Trooper Mercury, Grand Jupiter, the Despair Uranus, <laughs> and the Suppression Pluto. Um, not the card. Unfortunately, for someone who is actually comp- collecting the planet cards, these are none of the ones I fucking want. Yeah, but what, you don't want to despair your anus? I already have one. You already have an anus. <laughs> <laughs> We're so childish. <laughs> so childish, but it's, lo- it's just such a good name. Despair your Despair your anus. <laughs> Oh, anyway, oh wow, we got some more number card defense. Number 100, yeah. number 24, number 45, number 51, number 59, number 78, and number 98. All of the ones that I have. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Um, some choice Galaxy Eye reprints, as in it's the Galaxy Eyes from Ark V. The ones that we don't play. I mean, some people play Galaxy Eyes Cypher Dragon. I mean, you can play Cypher Dragon, but it's like, it's very niche because Galaxy Eyes' whole focus, like, extra deck focus is generally generally around stun-focused mechanics. So, hmm. it doesn't see a lot of play. Okay, alright. Um, there's some choice... All of the Flower Cardians. Yeah, there's su- there's some other more choice um, train reprints down here, like Night Express Night and Special Schedule. Is that is that is that a misspell or is that on purpose? Is there a schedule to put dual at the end? So it's Schedule. I think that's how you spell it, but I'm not 100 percent sure. I always thought it was an Express Schedule, not Express Schedule. Yeah, it, it, the, well, we'll have a look at this later. Anyway, here's the part I'm interested. There's some interesting imports here. Beginning with, we got the next two APs coming in this set. So it's Gar Gigabyte and Vazen Ryu. Yes, there have been a lot of complaints about this, that they should have been printed in the structure deck, but they're not getting printed in the structure deck. They should be printed and in a main set. set. Put in here for no reason. Yeah, this should be put in a main set. The next card is the, after that. The rest of my imports, X Y Z import. Nah, what do you mean nah? What, what does he even do? Let me have it here. Target one X Y Z control and one monster you control. Your opponent controls f- with an equal or lower attack. Attach that opponent monster to your monster as material. Okay, I'm gonna play that in Time Thief. Anyway. But like, I mean, it's not a, it's not a, um, here's the thing, it's a mech card because it's like, it has a nice ability, but like, it's on a normal spell card one, two. It's a quick play. There are just better cards, there are just better cards who, this, but that. It's a quick play though. It is a quick play? Yeah, it's a quick play. Doesn't matter, my point still stands because fucking quick play. mega clops exist. Okay, uh, the next reprint is 100 Dragon. Meh. Hundred Dragon is. Oh! 
It's the other version of that piece of shit card, uh, Baby Dragon. Yes. And then we got tomorrow. Time Wizard. Of tomorrow? Yes. <sighs> then we have Cyber Slash Harpy Dragon, which is actually a pretty fucking good import. Thing is, it's still a hot. And why is it. It's such a weird name, Cyber Slash. It, it's not a dragon, it's still a lady, and it's a synchro. Yes. For this card, synchro summon, you can treat one harpy monster for, as a tuner. What the fuck? Yes. Uh, well, anyway, the other one's Jinzo Leia. Meh. Oh, sorry, Jinzo Layered. Ooh. I mean, it's brain control, and it lets shoot monsters that uh, destroy traps. Yes. Oh, I destroyed one basic up. Oh, God, it's garbage. <sighs> well. Well, this set has some yep. interesting reprints. I'll give it that. Apart from that, it's mainly a collector set. Pretty much. Yeah. Anyway. Well, so anyway, I mean, since we're still on the top of Yu-Gi-Oh, we can just keep talking about Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, I've been trying to get myself into Yu-Gi-Oh again. And I tried out a new Time Thief build. Do you know what I tried out? No. Time Thief Dynamist. Well, you said no, damn it. <laughs> but yeah, I've been playing Time Thief Dynamist. I, I, don't, know, I, I don't know where you get Dynamist. I just, I just went, yeah, you know what? I want to play Dynamist. Let's see if I can put Time Thief into it. How's it going so far? Uh, well, it's, uh, well, it does time feed things, and then it does dynamis things. So it's, it's like, very... it's like my time feed, like, it's like my Time Lord build, if you ever played that. I have played again many times. There you go, now you know my pain. Anyway. <laughs> that exists. Uh, yep. as for me, I've just been slowly building decks. Hmm. On the sideline, so meh. I might try. I'm gonna try some other things out online at some point. Don't know when, but at some point. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of hyped for Dynamis now when it comes around, and I hope they get far because new Dynamis sort it would be very nice. I like Dynamis. They go, wee, and then, oh, I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm Play, talk about your Xenos. Your Xeons. Yes. So, Xenon Zard got announced last week that there was a collab. Hello. Hello. Um, so, there was a co collab with Carmen Rider. But, the global version of the game is getting shafted because the contract was only made before the release of the global application. Yes. So, I am very upset. So we're not getting the Carmen Riders? No, we in the West do not get the Carmen Riders. What the fuck? <laughs> yes, we are not getting them because, again, the contract was made before global was even released. Well, okay uh, then, we're not, we're not. Okay then, we're not going to talk about Xenozard then. Let's move on. <laughs> no I mean, we're still getting it. the card like effects because it's the same as the SAO one. Where <sighs> okay have, then. They're just reskinned cards. All right then. Well, you can talk about the new mechanic that comes with the Carmen Riders. I only know of the nine cost white card, and I just looked at it and is that you, Hunter White? <laughs> Yes. Uh, basically what it is, is you can play cards over themselves to gain benefits. Like if they were actually transforming into a different form. Also, they cost cheaper if they do so. So, uh, that's the basic idea of the gimmick. I'm not 100% sure about the villain decks, because they, uh... There's, very, there's been few and far between, you know... Card. There's been very little cards that have been revealed. On those prompts. Hmm. Huh. <sighs> anyway. Uh, That's all I have to say on it, really. Okay, so. then. 
I, I, I'm currently not playing it because I've just been busy with other stuff, mainly playing other MOBAs. Fair enough. Okay, I guess we can just talk about MOBAs now because we'll talk about League Glass because uh, I've been playing that the least now, surprisingly. All right. Oh. Anyway, but I gotta, I gotta start heading off there. So. Oh. Well. Yes. We're only You're 15 on minutes in. Oh shit, now I have to talk by myself. I was going to shame you for picking two of me, but fine, we'll do that next week. <laughs> anyway, I'll... Alright. Alright, so it's just me now. Great, now... It's... No, 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 Ethan's still here. He's, he's fumbling around no, trying to... No, 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 I'm gone off. now. Just, just, there was a secret conversation back here. Fine. Oh, oh you're done now? Yes, I'm done. Goodbye. Oh. Alright, bye. <laughs> hey, Alright, so since so Ethan's in here, he's gonna have to type his reaction in the comments, because I might as well get the what's get, being done new in League. Um, Samira's kit, it's quite interesting. I Ethan wanted me to talk about this anyway, so I just I want to see his reaction in the comments, because this is going to be quite interesting. Um, pretty much, Samira's kit is just aggressive assassin. Uh, she's pretty much carrying over some more range. So if, let me just bring up Samir's kit because all I remember is how her ult works. <sighs> okay, cool. Here you go, Samir. Run down. So pretty much her passive is pretty much great. By chaining non-repeated abilities, which is her two versions of O attack, because if she's close enough, she'll slash them with a sword. If she's far enough, she'll attack them with a gun. And then there's also her different abilities. Two of them, I believe, have different um, ways of working depending on how close, close the target is. So, yeah. Anyway, and then, of course, with each one she does, so non-repeated abilities or basic attacks increases Samaria's style grade by one letter from E to S. Every style grade gives her bonus movement speed. Samaria can also damage enemies at range of her guns or with her sword in melee range, the latter doing bonus magic damage. That's the sword, by the way. Um, she can also juggle enemies who are movement impaired by her allies in the air, extending the j displacement. So pretty much, if they get knocked up by, let's say, Janna, well, Janna, really. I mean, Yasu, I guess, if you really want to. Brahm, or something like that. She can just make them stay up a little higher. Uh, this is a part I'm not very keen on. Just a bit more, you know, things to work with. Anyway, Q is a flare. Pretty much, she fires a shot at an enemy directly if it's in range. So I think this is a skill shot. And then enemies in melee range instead is damaged by the slash of a sword, which is a cone by the looks of it, according, looking at this video. So, you know, yet again, kind of, uh, how do I say it? It's it's a very skill shot. I'm glad they're making more skill shot champions. Huh. Anyway, W, P much, she um, slashes the area around her. Doing damage to enemies in the vicinity twice and destroying any missiles in the area of, of at the cast that en that enter the area after the fact. P much you just use this. It's like a wind wall. It probably won't be stopping lasers. It will stop projectiles though. So you know it's just a moving wind wall. Not yet again keen on this. Ugh. Um. E is a dash that lets the dash to enemies and allies doing magic damage to. Any enemies it passes through, so it won't hit stop, and I think this will only activate on targeting things. She also gains attack bonus attack speed for the duration. Ta takedowns of enemies' champions reset the re cooldown on this. So it's it's quite interesting being able to reset abilities. I think that's the newest trend with assassins right now. We get again the last assassin before we got you and who doesn't have any resets is Kiana, so yeah. Um the next the her ult is what the one I want to talk about. Um her ult is Infernal Trigger. She unleashes a torrent of shots from her weapons, wildly attacking any enemies around her ten times over a duration. Each shot deals physical damage, applies life steal and can critical strike. She can only cast it when her star grade is at S, which is the max rank. So yeah. Here's the thing, with the ult, it's, um, well, on a 3 second cooldown, 
and I believe when you activate Infernal Trigger, it will just automatically put you down back to the lowest rank again, so you have to rebuild it. But the fact it's on a real cooldown means she can just build S and then just go all in. The fact that it has life still means... Uh, I don't know, I see Samara as a ranged Katarina. She has the stylings of a Katarina, and then she just got some extra tools on top. Do I think Samara's going to be bad? Uh, I... Well, considering the fact I looked at Flea also and went, oh, well, it's, it's Overload Kid, but it won't do much, and then absolutely became top pick in the meta afterwards, mm, probably will be a little bit strong. Yet again, I have, like, Karina and Samara. I think I'd rather fight the Samara, because Karina is a fucking nuisance with Shampo. But yes, I'm interested to see Ethan's reaction to this. <sighs> Anyway, um, moving on, I recently been playing Smart again, that was a trip and a half, I'll tell you that, god. <laughs> um, I don't know, Smart just seems like a massive money pit now, I went back and I just went, what the fuck are the prices for these normal skins, they've been bumped up to like 750 in a year, oh, what's, how much is this skin for gems, oh, you wanna buy a single, oh yeah, it's like 1,200, I'm like, what the fuck. I don't know. It's the game's super expensive now, and I don't like it. Apart from that, it's 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 still a game. It's not bad, but you know, it's I don't know. It's just expensive. I'm not a fan of it. Oh God! In fact, Cthulhu is the Ginny number one like like top pick in pro league is bothersome. Uh, anyway, I guess another thing we can talk about is, uh, well, I don't know what to say, really. Huh. I guess we can just talk about HOTS. I've been playing HOTS. I found a stack, as they call it, for, um, well, playing it. It's quite fun with people. I've been playing Alexandra. And um, the main part I want to talk about is one we're getting the finally we're getting the diva rework. It's it's better than what we currently have for diva, but at the same time probably won't move diva from out of fucking F tier garbage. She could probably move up to D tier, maybe C tier if we want to be generous. But ugh, I mean there's also the Gazler rework, but I haven't really bothered reading it because Gazler makes me go to sleep when I play him. So, you know, there's that. And we have May. May's not bad. Thought she'd be more annoying, but she really isn't. I mean, for a tank. I don't know. <sighs> wow, that's really all my shit. Like, because I don't have Ethan here to carry out conversations. I'm not really a solo person. Anyway, uh, I guess the thing we can talk about is the TGS, which is the Tokyo Game Show happening in September. Of course, it's all online, I believe. Unless there be, yeah, it's streaming schedule. Yeah, it's probably all online. Pretty much. Uh, this is the Japanese version of E3. And we're going to have a lot of interesting stuff. Mainly, well, first is first, Xbox is there for some reason. I don't even know Xbox. Uh, we've got Spray Enix Lightning Games, which does indie stuff. By the looks of it. Um, organizers program, da, da, da. the Gamera game now, Tokyo game, huh? The beginning from to the world from China, delivering interesting and innovative indie games from China. Okay then, Huawei Technologies Japan App Gallery. What? Res Re Resonance High School Group. What? Resonance High School Group esports course introduces an our activities in esports as a high school. Oh wow! Woohoo! That's quite interesting. I might tune in to watch that. Uh, a high school based around esports. I mean, I know some things like, oh, well, no. is it Sweden? Something like that. Some of them there, but this is quite interesting. Oh, I might tune in for that. Oh, and this is all being streamed on YouTube, by the way, not Twitch. Um, SoftBank. Don't know what that is. Live Games, AFK Arena. Crossover with Rise of the Kingdoms. Okay, sure. Ben Q Japan, brand new presentation. 
what BenQ, the leading global display brand, will debate will debut a new gaming product series at the show. Huh. Okay then. We will be announcing our DDM DMM. Sure, a keynote. Sega and Altus TV. <sighs> I'm really gonna be tuning in on that one. Because it's at is Altus. I it, it means it's Shin Megami Tensei. We might get some more Shin Megami Tensei stuff. I wanna tune in for it. Um, Gung Ho Online Entertainment, Tokyo Game Show, official live stream. Capcom specials. Probably gonna be announcing more Capcom DLC for uh, the other games. Street Fighter. Since you know, um, the I think they're done with Monster Hunter. The final update for uh, Iceborne is coming out, so we either gonna be getting a next a new expansion for Iceborne. Highly doubt it. Or no, and for Monster Hunter, which I. I still highly doubt it. And then, you know, or we're just going to have to wait until we get a new Monster Hunter game. I'm fine either way. Um, Organizers program. d Publishers, Save the Square Earth, Earth Defense Force, World Brothers. What? Oh, yeah, Earth Defense Force. That's the game where you shoot the spiders, right? The giant insects. That sounds right. Happy Net. What the fuck is Happy Net? Uh... Spike Chunsoft, Cyberpunk. Um, level 5 special meeting. What the fuck is level 5? Psy Games? Oh yeah, Shav. Fucking Shavas. Uh, green Animation Game Show. Jesus Christ, there's so many here. Japan Game Awards. Start here. Konami Info Show. For the latest in Konami News. God, no. I don't want to know about that. Um, k- 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 fucking k- pounds it. Koei to- Tecmo? I think that's it. Game special, two key titles. First live stream will be Ultra Visor 2. And then the second half will be announced at a later date. Okay, Tencent Gaming. Uh, AI Dial Device. Uh, okay, sure. Japanese game shows. Esports, Puzzles and Dragons. Try to shoot shot. Uh, Magic the Gathering. With VTuber Niji Sanji. Okay, I need to send this to my... Uh, friends, because I know they're into VTubers. I don't personally understand the appeal of VTubers. And then, you know, uh, huh, I don't know. I don't, like I said, I don't understand the appeal of YouTube VTubers. I don't know, like, if I want to simp a girl, well, one, she has to be Japanese, and two, I'd rather see her actual face, not hiding behind this, this animated character overlaid on it. Although, I'm not going to lie, I I mean, kind of considering the idea of being, being a VTuber myself. <laughs> well, at least for streams. Uh, anyway, um, Lion Kong. What the fuck is Lion Kong? Sparphone Games. Okay, sure. Japanese Economics. Japan Econ- Electronics College. Aqua Eki Racing. Techno Koei Dynasty Warriors 20th Anniversary Livestream. And more Konami stuff. Okay, with a name I can't pronounce. Bandai Namco, Sword Art Online, and Scarlet Nexus Special Program. Game shows, K-Lab, Bleach, Brave Souls, Benkai. Oh god, not that. Miho Yo, Genshin Impact pre-launch livestream. Players on the Battlegrounds. That's still a thing. <sighs> and then, just more Magic the Gathering. Okay, there's some interesting things here I want to tune in. I just thought I would bring it up. Maybe I shouldn't have gone through all of it, but yeah, again. Uh, yeah, so if you're wondering when this starts, this is going from 24th of September all the way until the 26th. No, 27th? 27th. All the way to the 27th. There's some interesting shows here. I would recommend you tune in for them. I'm personally probably going to be tuning in for the Resonance. Resistance? Res- I can't fucking say it. The high school one. I'm probably going to be tuning in for the Sega Oldest TV one, and maybe the Capcom one myself. Anyway, uh... Huh. So, uh, that's all, all the things I want to talk about, I guess, unless I want to sit here and talk about fighting games. So I'm just...
Huh, anyway. Uh, I mean, if I really want to, I guess I can just go, uh, I'll, I'm really trying to put in effort in trying to make this, making the Destiny video. It's coming along very slowly. Huh, so yeah. Uh, I'll plug Ethan's channel, he does D&D stuff, it's in, the, it's in the description, and it's in the sidebar, sidebar on my channel's homepage. Because he is a friend of the channel, so I put his channel there. Although, I think he will probably say, I'm too busy to make videos right now. I'm working on uni stuff. So that's probably why his channel was a bit dry right now. Yes, because the last update was one month ago. Please do follow him. He's I do enjoy his D&D content. <sighs> but anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. This is a short episode, meaning because Ethan left me halfway through, and now I don't know what to say. Uh, yep. Maybe I'll find a, a motivation to do something eventually. Oh, shit, I forgot to tell Ethan about my job interview out on Monday. We'll talk about it next week, because I want to talk about that. I kind of want to bitch. I need a bitch. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in, and goodbye.